folks and welcome back to the deck of the Providence. We have a pretty special video for you today. We are going to set up and film one of our safety drills. The drill we're going to be doing today is called a man overboard drill, which is exactly what it sounds like. It's what we would do in the scenario of someone having fallen off the boat. So we will film that for you today and we will talk about it a little bit with Jeremy as we go through um, and you'll get to see what he sees and what I see and how we would get you back if you fell off the boat. Hello everyone, Jeremy here. I'm a deckhand aboard Providence and it is currently my point of view that you're seeing through the lens of a head mounted camera I have attached to my person. Now I'm going to be giving a little bit of commentary as we do conduct this man overboard drill just so that you do know what's going on uh, at all times because it can be a little bit tricky to figure out what's happening. Things move very fast when we're conducting this type of drill and the camera work I'm afraid is not the steadiest. So I will be explaining what's going on at most of the steps of the process here. Now, in addition to my various other deckhand duties, I coxswain Providence's tender. So that means that I drive the small boat that we have suspended in stern davits over the transom of the ship. And I drive that boat in case of a man overboard, such as the drill we'll be conducting today. Or if we need a push boat, you know, we're having trouble getting onto a dock or there's some unfavorable wind conditions and we need to push our bow or stern around. Um, I do that in the small boat. So you will be seeing my point of view as I go out in the tender and recover our man overboard, which today is going to be a fender. Uh, believe it or not, nobody volunteered to jump in the water so that I could rescue them. And there goes the fender this is that's being tossed over the side board, of the ship. And I am about to point my arm at it. There you can you can kind of see it um, because I was the first person to spot eyes, it. I'm now making sure that I my shipmate Dustin has eyes on the man overboard. And I'm going below into Providence's aft cabin. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm going into the closet. I'm getting a work vest, which is basically a life jacket. And I'm grabbing our radio so that I can stay in communication with the captain of the ship even when I'm in the small boat and uh, I can give her updates on when I've recovered the man overboard. So now I'm putting on the work vest. It does take a second. Uh, we have other hands lowering the small boat as I do that. And it looks like I'm about to head on down the Jacob's ladder that hangs over the transom and I will be laying into the small boat. Laying in! There we go, pretty cool shot of the rudder there and the transom as I head down. I'm putting a plug in the transom of the small boat because it, it does have a drainage hole that needs to be closed before I head out. I'm now trying to pull start the engine. So um, we do have a key for the engine. It's got a, a tumbler that we will be installing here shortly and allow us to key start. But for the moment, we are pull start, which can sometimes take a few minutes, but hopefully she'll start up here in a second. There we go. And I will be casting off our, uh, our stern falls which hold the stern of the small boat. And now I'm casting off our bow falls as stern well. Falls away, painter. And then I'm going to ask for the Bye. painter, which is the last line connecting me to Providence. So there we go, all cast off. I am now opening up the throttle and heading towards the simulated man overboard. Uh, you can see as I pick up speed, the boat kind of lays down on a nice plane there, which is uh, great, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. There's the fender, you can see it in the water. I'm about to scoop it up on the port side of my little inflatable boat. Man overboard is on board. I'm radioing back to the recovered. ship coming and to, to Captain Gunport. Sam that I have recovered the man overboard and I'm coming up on our starboard side here to one of our forward gun ports, which is where, as you'll see in a second, one of my shipmates is going to rig a Jacob's ladder that will allow, um, if we had a real person in the small boat, rather than just a fender, uh, that would allow that man overboard to climb aboard Providence safely. There goes the ladder, and here I come alongside. MOB. MOB on board. So I've handed off our simulated man overboard. I'm uh, about painter. to throw my, or my painter on board. There we go. Just so they can make me fast in case I'm needed at all here. All right. Oh, painter. everything's good. Man overboard is on Providence. I'm taking back my painter and I'm gonna come around to the stern of the ship to reattach those falls 
and be picked back up. Steve Painter. Can I toss it down to you? Nope, I'm gonna to toss it to you. Right. So I'm tossing up the painter there to the outboard. deck hand who's on the quarter deck. He's gonna make it fast to a cleat on the stern davit. The bow falls are fast. I'm well. grabbing the stern falls there with the boat hook, and they have little pelican clips that will allow me to attach them to the stern of the tender so that the small boat can be hauled up. And here I go back up the Jacob's Ladder over Providence's transom so I can get back on board the ship. I'll be coming up on the quarter deck here and as I climb aboard you can see the other hands hauling up the small boat. Back on board. Small boat's recovered. There you go. That's a man overboard drill on Providence. All right, folks, thank you for joining us for this video of how we conduct a man overboard drill. Hopefully we will never have to use it for real. Thanks for coming by and we'll see you next time.